Hi everyone and welcome! Welcome to my channel! If it's your first time here, my name is Kostis. If it's not, welcome back! I wasn't planning to do this video, but uh, there are rumors and there are there is public will, so I could not not do this video. So this video is about Poland for Eurovision 2024. Poland changed their government now and uh, there, there, were, there are a lot of rumors. There were rumors that they might withdraw from Eurovision the, and now there's a new rumor. There's a new rumor about a song. The song is called Witch Air and the singer is called Justina Stetskowska. I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong. So yeah, we don't know anything basically about Poland and Eurovision 2024. We don't know when they will have their national final, if they will have their national final. And now we have this rumor that Justina might be the one who will represent Poland with her song Witcher or Witch Air. And yeah, I've been recovering from my New Year's Eve hangover for a couple of days now. And I suddenly saw people on Twitter talking about the song, I saw other reactors reacting to the song, and I I was like, I was I was ready to watch this video. I'm like, well, who, who are we reacting to? There's no official announcement from Poland. And I was like, wait, I'm gonna react to it properly with you. Now, before we go to this video, I would say if Poland, if the new government of Poland want to do things differently, and if I were the new government of Poland, I guess there's a reason why I'm not, but if I was, I would be like, wait a minute, why don't we do things right? Last year, people were not happy with our choice, the people in our country, Poland. Why don't we send Jan instead? I would be like, Hey, hi Jan, <laughs> how you doing? I see you're doing great in your career, congratulations. Why is there a chance that you have a new song uh, and that you would like to go with this in Eurovision? I'm just saying. But anyway, let's have a look at Justina and what all this uh, fuss is all about. Okay, we start with drama. Drama is good. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So we start with a dramatic entrance with a high note, and uh, we see a performance with hair and dancers, and like the movements are dramatic, the outfits are dramatic, the lighting is dramatic. Let's see where it's going. Oh, 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 okay. She's going for it. And she is performing. Like, she, she must be a season performer. I think... I think I read somewhere that she has already represented Poland in Eurovision at the past. Okay. 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 I cannot find a different word apart from dramatic that I've said already enough times before, but um, that's what this... That's the word that describes what I'm watching right now. And uh, Justina, Justina... I see you, Justina. And I like the changes in the song, like from from the very intense situations, like a ka -ka -ka -ra -ka -ra -ka, I don't know what she says to the slow moments. I even maybe like even more the slow moments. Like, da -da 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 -da. like there is something there is something unique about this song. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I don't know how long you've been in this channel, if you've been here before, but um, I have, I have, I have a liking for, 
whatever has to do with witches and magic and something mystical and uh, like um, wh- wherever there's like it feels like a ceremony that we summon something I like it go with the hair flip oh that's not easy people that's not easy okay And she has the vocals. This song is very Eurovision, but it's also very Eurovision in a bit older, older days. Like, it gives me a bit of nostalgia of the olden times of Eurovision. Oh my god! And Reind! range in her voice this this woman is a she seems like a seasoned performer like she seems like uh, she's been around the industry for quite some time now okay so we saw justina we saw justina and um i like her i like her as i said during my reaction I like the fact that she reminds me of a bit of the olden days of Eurovision. She's a mixture of Ruslana and maybe Svetlana Loboda from Ukraine, both of them. And uh, you know, this, this, this day is where I want to say that Eurovision was too much, but it's still too much. Uh, but in a different way, you know, now we have more modern music. Not not in the totality of the songs, but that's what we're going for nowadays in Eurovision. But I liked it. I liked it. If you ask my personal preference, I want Jan to go to Eurovision for Poland. But I think that's a good option. But let's see. Let's see. I, we have no idea what the national broadcaster of Poland will decide for this year. So we're just speculating here. What do you think? Do you want Justina to represent Poland to Eurovision? If you are from Poland, do you like how? How do you feel about it? Like, what's the vibe there? Like, do they speak about it? Is there a chance that she will really represent the country, or is it just uh, excitement? about her and like the video if you liked it subscribe to the channel follow me on all of the social media at this underscore esc and see you very soon at another video bye